medical treatments. This is Noah Hyde's sermon on medical treatments. When I've had a burn, I've learned from experience, a burn on my flesh from a match or something, or stuck my finger in the, on the oven hot plate or something, or a fire or something. If you run the, 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 the finger, for example, whatever it is, the body part, under cold water, and keep it running under cold water, you know, it, it, it does more than actually just cool, cool down the sore. What it's doing is actually cooling down the skin and the inside of the skin, the skin underneath, and it's cooling that down so that the, um, the, the actual burning which is going on in the skin, which often leaves a burn mark in the blister, is cooling down. So um, it's, it's preventing the redness and it's preventing the burning of the skin. That, that's why and, um, people like to tough it out. I, I often I just, you just tough out those sorts of things and you, be, you, be, you let your pride get the better of you. But it's actually very, very sensible and part of the pro-life agenda of ANN. We're positive about life and preserving our lives. So, you know, when you get a burn, run it underwater, put it underwater, put it on ice and keep it there until it's calmed down the skin and keep it under there for, for a good long while. You know, I mean, it's hard to judge exactly what a good long while is. But, you know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe more for severe burns, keep it cool. Keep it cooled down until the skin is feeling a bit better and the, the, with the deeper into the skin is cooling down and it's not so much of a problem. Cold water does work on burns. Keeping it cold, keeping it cool, it does work. Not, not just a, a temporary, just, just run under the tap a bit. Keep it cool for a while, it works. Now, colds, um, uh, well, let, let me see, uh, you've got a, a, a snotty, a mucus-filled, mucus-filled um, nose. You know, you've got na nasal, you know, full, full of snot, and you know, it's all blocked up. You know, traditional, there's traditional cures, one, one which my mum recommends. You get eucalyptus oil, the eucalyptus is a tree, uh, I, I think it's sort of like a gum tree or something, whatever it is, eucalyptus tree, you get eucalyptus oil, and you, you add it to hot water, <coughs> a bit of eucalyptus oil you add to hot water, and you get a, a towel, and you put the towel over your head, uh, and then you put your face into the bowl of hot water, not into the water itself, but on top of the water, with a towel covering your head and covering the bowl, and you in, inhale the fumes of the hot water mixed with the eucalyptus oil for a while, in through your nose, and it clears it up. It helps clear up a blocked nose. So that's another one of the basic cures. Eucalyptus oil in hot water is another basic cure to cure a cold somewhat. Now, um, people get colds often from going outside and catching a cold. Because I think what's going on there is, is, is probably diseases or something, little germs or something, microbes, or something which is going on, which when you get cold, um, you, you catch a cold. So, you know, if you're going to go outside on a cold day, dress warmly and dress sensibly because prevention is better than cure you know don't get the cold in the first place dress sensibly when you go outside i've had a problem with my skin and my legs called cellulitis um, i've learned from experience that walking around in nature without shoes on is not necessarily that wise because if you, if you don't wash the soles of your feet regularly problems with the cellulitis can occur and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sensible if you can, in nature, to have shoes if you can afford them, if you're in this kind of situation which you can have them, or to wash your soles, the bottoms of your feet, regularly to prevent things like cellulitis. Now, of course, th probably the best cure of all for most diseases is make sure you wash yourself. You know, wash your body regularly, clean it with water, scrub it, get it cleaned with water, and wash away diseases and things like that. Don't let them build up and to become a problem. Jenna Taylor is very important to keep clean and to keep wa washed. After you've had sexual relations, it's, if you've got some gook gooky bits remaining, it's very wise to wash that off and so that you don't smell and stink and to wash away those embarrassing bits. Keep, keep yourself clean. It's just generally sensible advice to wash regularly and keep yourself clean because that prevents a lot of disease, washing of water. Now, I don't know a huge amount about a lot of remedies to things, but this is, um, well, whatever, this is, this is uh, Natural Remedies Volume 1. We'll call this video Natural Remedies Volume 1. Bye.